Eastern Michigan University is home to many colleges, such as the College of Education, the College of Business, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Within the College of Arts and Sciences lies the Arts Department, where many students on EMU's campus study the intricacies of art. In the department, students can learn many different forms of artistic expression, including things such as ceramics, graphic design, drawing, painting, photography, and sculpting. However, the department isn't simply limited to the classroom, as there are three different galleries on Eastern's campus that showcase the art of EMU students. These include the University Gallery, located in the Student Center, the Student Gallery, also located in the Student Center, and the Ford Gallery, which is located in Ford Hall. The University Gallery just recently ended an exhibit called Place Names the Place, which featured abstract art from art students on Eastern's campus. Many of the pieces were made with non-traditional material, such as Trevor King's Thintopsis Clocks, which was made as a digital video rather than using a traditional medium such as a canvas and paintbrush. The exhibits featured in the various galleries on campus tend to change quite frequently, each focusing on a different theme. Upcoming exhibitions include works from artists Kathy Jacobs, Joan Newberry, and David Washington later this month, and an exhibit called the Dangerous Minds Exhibition will begin in Ford Gallery on May 11th. Taking a closer look into how the campus community has been involved with and evolved the art scene in the area is local artist Mason Sultana, who shares his experience of being an art major here at Eastern and having his latest works featured in the Student Center Art Gallery in his very own exhibit that he titled, A Couple of Cool Things. All these young creatives just come through. You get to see so much, you're exposed to so much stuff. Because these people are just, you have, what, 20 students? And they're constantly creating stuff, different styles, different techniques, different everything. You get inspired by them, they get inspired by you. Mason also talked to us about what it was like setting up an art gallery focused entirely on his pieces. See, so yeah, I just basically focused all my time and energy and took this opportunity that I have, just first of all being a student in a university with all these opportunities to make stuff and focused on making this. That in itself was kind of stressful, kind of exciting, kind of like thrilling to be a part. Like it's basically, this is why you live. Like you're making stuff. This is what life's about. Mason, along with many other senior artists, had the opportunity to include some of their work in the senior capstone exhibit in the Ford Art Gallery. This opportunity is just one of many that local artists on campus are given to showcase the work that they have been doing. Many of the pieces displayed at the Senior Capstone exhibit have an aesthetic element to them, while also being able to express some sort of message, often about the state of our society. It's very clear from looking at these pieces that a lot of thought and hard work was put into each piece, and while some might scratch our heads and say that they don't understand it, there are clearly messages to be found in each piece, while also being pleasing to the eye.
Much of the work for art students is done in either Scherzer Hall or Ford Hall. However, being that there are 15 areas of study within the art department, and with Ford containing a television studio and Scherzer being home to the observatory, it's easy to see that there is need for expansion. Luckily, there will be a new environment soon for Eastern's artistic minds to work in. A new building will soon be opening on the campus, which will be home to the sculpture program. According to the department head, Colin Blakely, the new building has been in the making for several years now and is considered only phase one for their vision of seeing all of the 3D areas together. Along with being taught in the classroom, students have many opportunities to learn about the art scenes in different areas. Students can sign up to travel to New York for a weekend in November each year for the New York Arts Venture. It is another great learning opportunity for artists on campus that wish to see some impressive exhibits at museums around the state of New York. Along with being immersed in the arts that are all around New York City, students get the opportunity to go take tours at the widely known Metropolitan Museum, the Museum of Modern Art, and even the Museum of the Moving Image. Another trip sponsored by the art department involves the whole campus community. Trips to the Detroit Institute of Arts are frequently posted for students and faculty of all fields to attend. This provides an opportunity for everyone on campus who wishes to partake and explore exclusive pieces and take a tour of must-see exhibits. But of course, if you don't want to take the trip out to the DIA, there are also the various sculptures around campus that everyone sees on a daily basis. These are all made by individuals who are, or were, EMU students. And of course, each sculpture has a plaque next to it, so as to inform the passerbys who exactly created the sculpture and what the significance of the piece is. There are tons of showcases going on in at least one of the art galleries on campus each week. Simply walking into the student center will usually bombard you with a couple of different exhibit flyers upon entrance, and current art exhibit posters will be one of them. You can also check out the art department website at art.emish.edu and view the current exhibits or upcoming events. It's a good way to stay on top of the work going on there, even if you are not able to physically make your way over to the campus to check it out in person. You can even view photographs of current artwork submitted by students in the department on the website. The art scene is always around, so don't miss out. Check out some of these local artists and more in the area by clicking on ipsalandi.org and checking out the events tab, or just by stopping by the art galleries on Eastern's campus in Fort Hall and the Student Center.